Hey guys, this is Drew Mario 1306. Welcome to Blooper Beach. And welcome back to more let's or more of my let's plays with Mario Party 9. Uh we'll learn about the stage along the way. I am playing as Yoshi on this board. Because it feels like a sunny I don't know. Probably because of Yoshi's Island or something. Kind of, kind of decided to play whoever lives on an island. I invited Peach, Luigi, and Toad for this board. And yeah, this is a uh, board where, you, well, obviously you're on a beach, and yeah, we're collecting mini stars. Uh, the dolphin. If you get to it, you will get. Uh, I think it's five mini stars. Maybe I'm thinking of three, but I think it's five. If you catch up to it, it moves two spaces at a time, which Peach might actually get. She just needs like a four or something. Three. Oh, she only needed three. I counted wrong. She does land on a versus space. Yeah. So five mini stars for that, and are already right off the bat a free for all mini game. And we get card smarts. Okay. We haven't seen this one yet. Uh, choose a card from your hand. Whoever plays the card with the highest number earns one point. Be the first player to earn three points. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of strategic. Uh, it's kind of a, it's a combination of luck and strategy at the same time because you got your opponents. Uh, yeah, you got your opponents. Like it's kind of like poker, except it's not. Okay, we're all tied up. Oh, no, Toad's in the lead. Oh wow, I, I was actually going to go for one too, but okay, I'll take it. Oh wow, I got first with two low cards, well actually three was the medium card, but still. Alright, who wins? Luigi got second? Well that means Peach should get third unless she picks the three and... Well, she got third anyway, because Toad only had a three and a four. Yeah. Half luck, half strategy. So, actually, this is the, uh... Although this is the fourth board here in this uh, game, this is actually the second board that I'm playing right now. I decided to do the boards in the order that I actually did them the first time I played this game. So yeah, Blooper Beach was the second board I played when I first got this game. I'm probably gonna do it in... yeah, that's why I'm, if you haven't seen my Toad Road, uh, let's play Toad Road and go check it out. And at the beginning of that video, I actually told you about about uh, which boards I'm going to do in which order. Pretty much going to do them in the same order that I did them uh, uh, the first time. Except for Bowser Station and DK Jungle. I actually did DK Jungle 6th instead of 7th because I actually unlocked the board for DK Jungle first before I actually uh, played Bowser Station. I think... Uh, yeah, I pretty, yeah, I, I decided to un I unlock DK Jungle first before Bowser Station. Start. 
And we got weird wheels. Uh, you just have to. Uh, for the one, you have to hit the hit the numbers. Not not the not the numbers. So yeah, we're, anyway, weird weird wheels. We got a. Uh, for the one, you have to press the directional pads in a certain order. For the three, you have to. You have to press the buttons. And who presses them in the exact order? Yeah. Yeah, I actually did a DK's board. Anyway, I did DK's board six instead of seven. Kind of rare, but. It Not unusual though. And we got another mini game. What do you know? Well, okay, we already saw Piranha Patch, so we got Bombarge and Mecha Choice. Uh, just for fun, I think we'll just try a luck based game now. Mecha Choice. So yeah, it's luck. You just have to choose a safe route to escape the Mecha Koopas. Pick a dead end and you're out. That should be simple enough. Uh, A1 and 2. Uh, I'm gonna go 2 on this one. Someone's gonna get knocked out. And it's me! That was a mistake. I think I saw the door number 2 move. Yeah, I figured. Yeah, door... One of the, sometimes you might find a door that actually closes up before you get here. And that might give you a clue of what the uh, dead end is. Sometimes it doesn't work that way, though. Yeah, Peach won. Uh, Luigi and yep, Toad tied for second. Oh, wow. Peach has a 17... 12 lead on Luigi. I have 8 stars and Toad has 7. 3. And just for the record, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter which order you uh, watch my board playthroughs in. It doesn't really matter. I won't spoil anything. Uh, the shark behind us, it moves four spaces. And unfortunately for Luigi... Uh, yeah, those sharks are actually called sushis. And if they get, reach you, you'll lose half your mini stars. Yeah. Look out! So now Luigi's in last place. And we got a Bowser Jr. minigame space that he just landed on. Okay, so our first Bowser Jr. minigame. And Bowser Jr. tends to pick the human players. If there's more than one human player, he'll be picked at random. Or, he'll pick it at randomly. If we win, we get five mini stars, but if we lose, he'll take five mini stars from us. And we get Zoom Room, okay? Work with your teammate to catch Bowser Jr. as he races around the maze. See, so yeah, we have to catch him in this maze. Hopefully we can do this. Aha, Bowser Jr., you can't run. Yeah, we win. Five mini stars, or actually ten mini stars, to the green team. So that's five mini stars to me, and five mini stars to Luigi. I wonder what Toad's gonna do. Oh, there's a 
Oh, dolphins. Sometimes the dolphin comes back. Lucky space. And, okay, we got, like, yeah, four cards. Oh, wow, he got the best combination, possibly. Three mini stars and the four, five, six dice card. So, yeah, he went into that toad house, which is actually filled with lifeboats and, I guess, sailor stuff. All toad houses on each board are different. Like, at Toad Road, you'll probably find it like a living room area, as opposed to maybe Bob on Factory, where you're gonna find it as a uh, underwater, uh, not not underwater, like. Well, Magma Mine is an underground chamber. Bob on Factory is like a fireplace filled with coal or something. Yeah, all Toad houses, depending on what boards you're playing, are different. Uh, four. Okay. Oh, jeez. I'm just looking at the scores right now, and Peach is in the lead. And yeah, when when the dolphin gets to the boss or gets close to the boss battle space, he disappears. Free for all mini game again. Okay, what do we got? Pinball fall. Okay, we haven't got this one yet. It's another luck based game. You just have to choose the ball that actually falls first to the uh, finish line. Start. I'm gonna pick the one on the far left. Sorry, Peach, I have to take that one. Usually when I pick the far left one, I win, but that's obviously not always the case. It is a luck-based game, though. Okay. Oh, it's between me and Peach. Okay, I win. I win, Peach is second. Uh, who gets third? Toad. And Luigi is stuck. I'm still on the uh, pinball area. And look at Toad showing off. Like, he's like, oh really? Well, it looks like Toad's gonna be captain unless he lands on a shuffle space. Something I forgot to mention, but I think you already know. The shuffle spaces shuffle turn order. So, so now Peach is captain. <laughs> then Luigi, then me, then Toad. Well, that's not good. I mean, it was a shuffle space. He would have either he would have been captain or someone else would have. Yeah. All right, boss battle. Uh, Cheap Cheap is the actual boss you have to face, but let's see what we get. Lakitu again! Okay. That was... That was one we already had. We already had this in Toad Road, and now we're playing him again. Yeah, you already know the rules. You just have to hit the bullet bill. Yeah, I... I... Cheap Cheap is the real boss in this board. Especially in story mode. Start. <laughs> Dang it, I hit the spinies. I think I got those points. Okay, the game is taking a lot longer than I expected, but... Whatever. I'm in the lead right now. I 
I keep getting the spinies for some reason. Maybe because I'm slow. Wait, who got that? Luigi? Well, he got out of last place. So, I guess it's order from left to right, so I win and Toad finishes last. And Peach gets Captain Bonus, so basically, she ties with me for the win, basically. But, I got the full 10 points. And, well, it's only 15 minutes, so I guess we could keep going. Peach is still in the lead by 7, but we still got a long way to go. We still got the rest of this beach. One. Four, five, six block. Okay. Looks like I'm up next. I'm going to use my one, two, three. No. You'll be stupid enough to do that unless, unless you actually get it. Axic was gonna say, unless you want to actually give someone mini stars. Is there a one dice block? Okay. Okay, that pathway in front of us is either going to go down for mini games or up for spin roulette spaces. And I. He goes up. I kind of wanted to go down to show off some mini games, but okay. Well, now he has the spin star. And rivals can't use special dice blocks, so. So much for using those items. Peach gets another four. And she's up to 40 now. I mean, I'm doing decently second and with 28. And she gets a 1 to 10 dice block. Wait, does she have another? No. She only has one. Okay, so all of us are getting a lot of dice blocks. I mean, everyone has at least one. Me and Peach have two. Oh, I might be captain. I might get captain event here. But first, the free for all mini game. Manner of escape. I don't think we've seen this one yet. Uh, you have to find the door on each floor that leads to the floor below. Be the first one out of this, out of the mansion to win. So there's the top floor. We all have to get to the first floor, and we start on the fifth floor. So we gotta. Uh, you. You might have a clue of which door leads to which, like the second and the. Uh, I'm going to number them 1 to 6 from left to right. Uh, you can see that door led to that door, so don't use those two doors again. Sometimes computer players might help you out. And, oh, I think I know which door it is. This one. Is there, I think I saw the other doors you got to take, uh, chosen. That one. How about this one? Oh, this one's out. That one was out. So, okay. So I win. Peach finishes second again. Okay, so I win again. It seems like this is always the positions where we finish, and yeah. And Toad cries like a baby again. Oh my god, that's. That's adorable. Oh, unless I get a one, which I probably jinxed myself, and I did. <laughs> I get, I would have got the captain event. Oh, what? Oh, I got the four, five, six block. Hmm. I'm gonna actually get rid of it. I know, right? Probably not the best choice, but whatever. Toad on the other- why would he use that? 
He's one space of heaven. Whatever, he's a computer player. What are you gonna do? Whatever. If they're stupid enough to let you win, that's kinda good. In your case. Okay, uh, Captain Event right here. Rondi is a... I guess you could say... Elevators or something. They're not really elevators, they're something else. And we have to use dice blocks to get to the top. But we have to avoid the unlucky spaces. The captain has an advantage because, as you can see, I think the first of his seven spaces, is it? One, two, three, four, five. Six. Yeah, the first of seven spaces don't have unlucky spaces. And unfortunately, Peach got lost her mini stars. Unfortunate for her. Now it's, we're using the regular regular dice block. So if I get like a high number, I should get out. Four? I think that's bad for her. Oh, she's out. We'll have ten mini stars to salvage, and Peach only had five left. It's her again. Okay. So... Peach's salvage was not successful. Oh well. There will be other salvages. Okay, it looks like I'm getting out of here no matter what. Luigi needs, I think, six to get out. And he does not. It's as if you lost all your mini stars. I, on the other hand, did get out. And so, so yeah, me and Toad got the full count. Ten mini stars for each of us. Peach and Luigi. Well, Peach was getting attacked by those fish bones, and Luigi didn't make it out in three dice blocks. Uh, who's next? Peach? Okay. Another six. Dice block? Uh, the uh, question mark spaces. Well, we'll get to that if someone lands on it. One, two, three? One, okay. Oh, fudge. I just realized. Yeah. You land on the lo question mark space. Uh, all the mini stars turn to mini Zars or mini Z stars. And it won't change back into mini stars unless you land on the question marks again. Uh, the video is 24 minutes long, so I'm going to stop it here. So in the next part, we're going to finish the rest of Blooper Beach, or more likely. So I will see you for the second half, or I guess second out of three parts of Blooper Beach. See you in the next part.